Hello friends! Many of us have a great interest about the Venezuelan phenomenon. Uh, recently, Rodrigo uh, has um, valuable material, uh, video material, video report about his trip to Venezuela. And during his trip, uh, Rodrigo made almost all payments in Dash for hotels, cars, and restaurants. And uh, this is very interesting and encouraging. But uh, this video um, interview, we would like to um, um, focus on donation program that uh, the Venezuelan, Venezuelan team uh, is um, performing now. And I was talking with uh, Eugenia Kala, she is a founder of Dash Venezuela, and I asked her uh, several questions about this topic, and now I'm introducing her respond on my questions with with big pleasure. Hello everyone, my name is Eugenia Alcalá and I am the founder of Dash Venezuela. First, I want to thank the Dash People team for this interview and for wanting to learn about our work in our country, Venezuela. So, to answer your questions, the first question is, what of your promoting actions bring more benefits? Uh, is it conferences? Is it private talks? Is it trainings? And well, to talk about that, we have one big conference every month where we attend, we receive over 500 people who come to learn about cryptocurrency, about blockchain and about Dash. We have uh, had um, different experts talking to us from the point of view of the legal status or from the point of view of the uh, how to um, how to make a living in Dash and other cryptocurrencies, or how to accept Dash as a payment or donation if you are an, if you are an entrepreneur or a merchant, and all of these uh, experts have given us extraordinary talks and they have been great and these uh, conferences also uh, get recorded and they are available in our Dash uh, Venezuela YouTube channel so it, it is good not only for the people who come to the event but also to all of the people who later can uh, access the video in our YouTube channel so that is great also we have trainings for entrepreneurs, for merchants, and also for uh, journalists. This has been really great idea because uh, our journalists in our country, they do not understand what is blockchain technology, what is cryptocurrency, and what is Dash. So in our trainings, we explain to them all of this, and we also make a practical uh, like exercise so they can learn how to use the Dash wallet. And this is uh, very good because they understand really how Dash can be a good alternative for all of our problems in Venezuela uh, uh, economic wise. So this is another another thing we do, but definitely our, our star is Dash City. This is an activity where we um, teach people, consumers, to download their wallet and to receive Dash uh, in a giveaway we give, and also to spend Dash in uh, these entrepreneur fairs. So this is a, like a, another world where everything is sold and bought in Dash. Uh, before that, of course, we train these entrepreneurs and these merchants to receive Dash and they learn. And this is a moment for them of practice also. So they feel more comfortable afterwards to receive Dash in their uh, stores, in their shops, in their, in their daily, a daily basis. Okay. So Dash City is really one of our 
greatest activities and I think the most effective. The second question is, what channels do you use to invite merchants to your conferences and meetups? Well, this is really curious because we practically do not have to, to use any publicity or ads or anything like this because the merchants come to us, they, they call us, they write emails to us, they contact us during the, the events and they contact us also through our social media. So we uh, practically uh, all we do is, is to receive these uh, questions and these emails and these uh, uh, calls and we invite them to our trainings. Also, in our conferences, we have uh, made this activity called interactive tables. And in this, in this activity, people can come to uh, talk to, an, to uh, uh, someone who can advise them how to receive Dash and how to, uh, how to buy Dash from Bolivares, for, for example and they also can register then to come to our trainings. The third question is, after a merchant is involved in Dash, how often do you connect with him? Well, we uh, really give them a, a very good training at the beginning. We, we invite them to this training course and they come and they ask all the questions they have and then they uh, stay connected in in WhatsApp groups and Telegram Telegram groups so they can if they have a doubt or or they want to to learn how to use one tool or another they can ask the question and our team is able to uh, like uh, answer them and and guide them through the process. Also, they uh, go through this preparation for uh, participating in Dash City. And this is like a, a series of meetings where we teach them. And then afterwards, they do also like this uh, evaluation of the event so we can learn from everything we just did. Question number four is, how do merchants secure themselves from the high volatility of Dash? Well, that is a, an issue that comes uh, very often in our training courses and in our conversations with these merchants and these entrepreneurs. So they, they have to make decisions uh, when they receive Dash to, to see if some of that uh, money is going to the cash flow, meaning they needed to buy more goods or to pay providers, or if some of that money is uh, for reserve of value, for, for uh, like savings. So for example, we have uh, some merchants, some entrepreneurs, who uh, do not spend any of the dash they make, they just uh, save it and leave it there because they believe that is a way of, of um, protecting the value of their capital. And um, in the other hand, some of the entrepreneurs use that uh, dash to pay providers of them. Some of those providers are already accepting dash uh, for example, we have this entrepreneur who makes belts and he uh, has been able already to buy some of the materials he uses from China and pay them with Dash. So they send it, they ship it from China to Venezuela and afterwards they have been able to sell their, their belts, their finished belts to someone in, uh, I think it's Guatemala and Honduras, I'm sorry, Honduras. And they receive Dash for that, for that uh, transaction. So um, our entrepreneurs and merchants have learned to pay some of their providers with Dash directly. 
if not they might uh, decide to um to change the dash to fiat currency of their preference and in that way they can like decide what to do with their dash uh yes we are right now I, our, the final question is about our crowdfunding we right now are in a really interesting time uh, because our um, most recent proposal for the work we do uh, for the month of july was approved i mean uh, it got 11 uh, percent positive positive votes from the master note and that counts as approved but at the same time the budget was was over located allocated i'm sorry so what i mean is there was a lot of proposals who uh, got approved and the budget was not enough for us even though we got the the votes necessary to be approved so we were approved but we are not funded that's why it's very very um, oh, a lot of people have contacted us and has asked how to how how to help us to go on with our work and that is how it occurred to us to make this crowdfunding and the the response has been really really amazing uh, there ha there has been a lot of donations and a lot of um, contributions to our dash address that we set up for the crowdfunding and we have two um, two goals like two levels of goals the first goal is to to it's enough to make the conference for july without dash city and the second goal is enough to make the conference and dash city so far we have uh, raised 148 dash mm, our first goal is of 151 dash so we are really really close and uh, we uh, the second uh, the second goal is i don't remember right now i'm gonna tell you but i am confident we can get there because uh, the the response has been so cool there was this one person who very generously offered to loan us uh 100 dash so he he or she i don't know he or she uh gave us already the money the dash and we are uh, our comp our our promise is that we in a couple of months in another proposal we are going to ask for this 100 dash to give them back so that has been really really helpful because that uh, really get us close close very close to our goal the second goal let me see it here that will be enough to make all of the dash city and all is of I'm looking, I'm looking. Yes, the second goal is 219 dash. With that, we are going to have enough to uh, make an event for 1,000 people with the conferences and with the dash city so uh, thank you very much dash people because this is a window for us to tell about this and of course we are going to send to you the address so your viewers can if they want to donate so uh, thank you very much this is uh, been a pleasure to talk to you and of course i hope someday you can come to venezuela and see how we are working to make of Venezuela the first Dash nation. See you later.